One more time. One more time. One more. We're going in for real attempts tonight, folks. So we're going to restart the game client. This is this is a speedrun stream, okay? Shoot grenades in the air to make them explode prematurely. A message for your pals back home. All right, Rico, Rico, you just, Stay there. just said that. When, you're, when you interrupt yourself, it's always pretty good. This one is definitely slow. Nice, boom, Rico. Now get back to the MV. We're gonna do something this run. I, I, something's, there's a glitch that's happened a few times, and I think I might know why it happens. And so I'm actually gonna test something uh, this run. We'll see if it happens. I'm kind of curious because usually I'm not prepared for it, so I'm not able to take advantage of it. But I'm gonna try and do it, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's not until about 10 minutes in, though. It's at the beginning of Freedom Fighters. Bye. 
always like it when one of the jeeps gets exploited so hard it just flies up into the sky. It's a good flavor. Mm, truly a miserable first mission. Devil's Drop Zone, more like Devil's Drop This Mission from the game. Got him. Yeah, so this is one of two times in the game when we drive a motorcycle. The other is at the beginning of uh, Some Like It Hotter. Uh, and the motorcycles, I will say, uh, handle better than they do in Just Cause 3, which is potentially, for a game that I really, really, really love, Just Cause 3 is potentially the worst handling motorcycles of any video game ever. I mean, thankfully, motorcycle driving is not, like, an important part of the game. Uh, so, but still, it's bad. Speaking of bad, boats are bad, folks. Don't trust boats. Never trust boats. Boats are not your friends. Oh, why is this boat here? Boat, you're not my friend. Go away. What? <laughs> This, that has never happened before. Please don't exploit my boat. Go away. <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, my God. Yeah, this is never, ha I've never had a police boat follow me in here. Bastards! Slap me around some more, you dumb cowards! You can even kill me. Look how scared you don't make me, you pigs! <laughs> Chill, my friend. I'm here to free you. Hurry! Caramicus, I feel like, is a good character. I don't know. It's interesting to me that just cause hey, one and two, you have made one uh, very all of the characters that you work play. with. Are like just like straight together, eh? like racial Even caricatures, like and I guess the characters in three are, I don't know, they're just not quite caricatures, and so it just feels like three is in a different universe than one and two. Somebody? Hello? Get him! Huh? Look, shoot him! So there was a uh, a Polygon article today about how apparently. It is uncharted canon lore that Nathan Drake never actually takes damage from bullets. And that if he, if he gets shot, he dies. And so that the flashing red on screen is actually his luck running out. So he, he only dies when he gets shot and takes damage. Otherwise, he's never actually taking damage from bullets. And apparently some people on Reddit were kind of upset about this. Is this boat really still here? He's laughing at me. That's messed up. 
It's a common thing. Oh, really? Interesting. I didn't realize that. But, like, it makes sense. Like, I'm 100% cool with it. I'm like, oh, that's an awesome way to represent it. Because it makes sense since, you know, Uncharted is basically Indiana Jones the video game. And Indiana Jones never gets shot. I don't think he does. But anyway, you get the point, right? Like, most action scenes, Indiana Jones doesn't get shot. No, like, do you need to explain it? Like, we don't, like, Indiana Jones doesn't need to explain it in the movie, so I think it makes sense that the game wouldn't point it out. But I, I, I get it too, because, like, video games, we're so used to getting shot and taking damage and having some, you know, like a health bar or something like that. Indiana Jones doesn't get shot, nothing happens when Drake doesn't get shot, the screen, I mean... Right, but there's also, we never see, like, Indiana Jones bad endings, I guess, where Indiana Jones loses. You know, the assumption here is, like, it's obviously you have to represent something that doesn't happen in Indiana Jones. Which is Indiana Jones losing. I mean... There is a representation of Indiana Jones losing. It's called Indiana Jones in the Temple of the Crystal Skull, which is a loss for everyone. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to call the extraction helicopter as like an accident uh, and then but like also run away. Yeah, I know, sorry. <laughs> we were, we were both right there thinking of that. Now, go help me new comrade liberate Los Mirasolis. I mean, it sounds like you're describing Tomb Raider 2013 there. Does, does Uncharted have any sequence? I, I remember some of the, the set pieces from Uncharted. Like, I vividly remember Uncharted 2's uh, trains hanging off the side of a cliff set piece. Oh, that was a good one. Again, we skipped some tutorial prompts by rolling by talking to him while we were rolling against him. I'm gonna pay attention this time, folks. Smart, responsible adult. So we're definitely still a little behind here. That was not sub-14, but we're gonna see if this glitch happens. If I think what's gonna happen happens. Uh, oh, no, all right. So the thing that I thought was gonna happen was that by, um, by doing an extraction and then running away th from it, I thought I might be able to store extractions. Um, which would be like useful here because I could like just fly to get a car that I wanted instead of having to get lucky and pick up a good car right away. Uh, but there you can see that it didn't work. So uh, that's definitely something that's happened now a few times where at certain points in missions, I will just randomly get dropped from, uh, from a plane or a helicopter, even though I wasn't summoning one or anything.
Oh, no driving. Okay. At least this car is fairly reliable. Sometimes in, in cars in this game, you start turning and that's it. You just, you keep going that direction. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, yeah, you boys do whatever you're doing. Just leave me alone. Oh! Alright, well, not quite what I wanted, but I'll take it. Hola, carnal. You ready to go to war against the government dogs? Free government! Level one complete. To be honest, usually this one, it's pretty easy to get the number of spawns we need. You just need to not. Come on. Level two complete. What? Don't walk up fences like that? Where? Oh. There we go. Yeah, hombres. Sometimes I just lose it. Level 3 complete. Okay. Yeah, still gonna lose a bunch of time or whatever. I guess my PB was really good at this part. It always feels weird to me when you come back to a speedrun and it feels like you can't replicate the success of something. Good one! Now, come on back here for your next assignment. Uh, I hate those prompts. What? Rico. Mm. Where is that helicopter going? Damn it. I probably could have gotten that if I wanted. Uh, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to get the next one. Where is it? Free citizen! This is the police! There we go. We Alto, got it. Policia. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So interesting, it seemed like that time I aggroed the helicopter, which is something I try to do, but uh, it doesn't always seem to work. Certainly if I can reliably aggro a helicopter, that's gonna make uh, getting them a lot easier, because usually when you when you aggro them, they'll you know, they they'll drop enough that it's pretty, pretty trivial to Not hijack why. them. You'll just break it. Check it out anyway. Oh yeah, I gotta remember the grappler prompt. Yeah, so you might be wondering, okay, yeah, like why didn't I just baby. use uh, a grappler to hijack the helicopters? The and the answer is that uh, you don't get the grappler until you start this mission. And once you start the mission, it stops spawning helicopters over that town. Uh, so that's why my strategy is to get the helicopter before starting the mission, because you have an infinite supply of them and, and it's not too too hard to do the um the parachute stunt jump hijack although it's definitely easy to get greedy and keep failing it i've done that plenty Usually takes about five or six shots to blow up his limo. And one of the important details here too is that we, we're gonna keep his helicopter.
I'm s Ooh, time save. It's fine. Senor Alifan, there is time save in this game. Has a, brief uh, window a lot in of it is diary. later on. Please do not keep him waiting. There is going to be a prompt here about the Rios cartel. I think, yeah, there it is. Okay. tutorial prompt about the remote bomb. And then we'll go over and destroy the, the, the mill using this helicopter, using this helicopter like which is a lot faster than inside, I would say. using a car and jumping over the fence and planting explosives and then walking to the coca truck and you know it just takes a while folks. This is just easier. I mean honestly I feel like a lot of this game could be improved by just always managing to somehow scum out a uh, missile helicopter. Nope, nope, alright, come on. Uh, this is becoming a problem. Usually you can get, um, there you go, okay, nope. So usually you can get something to lock onto that will be behind those, uh, the mill. So I lost a little bit of time there, unfortunately. Not too bad, though. Time to drive this truck. Uh, thankfully, this is much more forgiving than Just Cause 3's version of this. And you are able to just use this truck. Uh, you only need to keep two... Yeah, I see two crates there, so... The real problem, though, is that unlike 3, in this one you're being pursued by enemy forces who absolutely can murder you. Uh, I was trying to slow them so I could lose more of them. Usually not that many will follow you through that forest. One of the other big random parts of this too is that there are two different kinds of trucks that can spawn in pursuit and one of them doesn't really damage you. So like this guy doesn't have a weapon strong enough to damage the truck. Uh, whereas if you see trucks with rear machine gunners they absolutely can hurt you. And there's a real risk of failing the mission if, they're, if they get to your truck. See, there you go. These guys, those guys are really, you, you can see they're already chipping away. Yeah. Oh boy. So usually if you really get a bunch of them on you, you just need to dive into the forest and hope you can get rid of them. Thankfully here, we were pretty much close enough to the end of the mission that it wasn't a big deal. And unfortunately, we don't have our missile chopper anymore, so now we're actually going to start doing extractions to get to the next mission. This is pretty much how we're going to travel for most of the game, is doing these extractions. Pretty 
use our grappler for the first time. Get over to this boat. What is this? What is this yacht doing? Get out of my way. Alright. Alright, good. We have grenades. That's one of the reasons it's important to pick up grenades during Freedom Fighters. Is that we really, really need them for this. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright, so that was pretty quick. The ideal kill is that we explode our grenade. Um, and Get your when an enemy off. throws a grenade, you there. Uh, and then the double grenades will instantly kill uh, our target. Uh, and this is the second rail shooter. Uh, there is, you can potentially take enough damage from this early on to die, but we have plenty of health, so we are in good position. It is possible to shoot the pilots of the helicopters without destroying the helicopter first. Rest in peace, that's why you, sometimes you'll see them just fall out of the sky. It's a pretty funny animation, I enjoy it. Will you make me angry? It is it is also possible to get the boat pilots, but a lot less likely. So sometimes that boat will not follow you, but I definitely aggroed the boat, so I kind of kind of get the blame for this one. But yeah, that's it. And so now at this point, we just have to wait uh, until we get to about I think about 650 meters is when the mission ends. Now it's time for some like it hotter. My favorite mission about hijacking the world's angriest helicopter. This is also one of the missions that I really wish we could somehow skip the drive. Uh, there's a there's a motorcycle drive in the, basically the first half of it, uh, which isn't necessarily like super risky or hard, but you know it's a drive because things can go wrong. Right, see, like I could, just, I could just take a path. It's like risky, and I, I lose time because I forget. You know, especially in missions where the path is going to be through a wooded area to save time. It's like, hey, do you actually remember where you're going? The answer is not always. Yeah, one of the things that happens in this game is that in order to simulate the idea of an island in Civil War, 
they just sort of have random fights break out between government and uh, cartels and government and rebels. Um, and it usually just gets in your way. Although sometimes in later missions it will spawn helicopters that will be incredibly useful. But also create gold splits that you cannot, uh, not, uh, you know, emulate on a regular basis. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Mix can make this uh, speedrunning this game super random. That guy buddy, just drove his motorcycle in that Jeep. He's, he's the real he's already hero. enjoying himself at the El Volcan Whorehouse. Go there now and put him out of his misery. So here what we have to do is we're going to drive this limo up to a certain point, and at a certain point, the, um, the helicopter that we want to hijack will spawn. There's a lot that can go wrong here, especially in terms of the limo getting flipped, or being destroyed, or me driving into that fence, or tires getting popped. Tires getting popped is a real problem because it really kills the uh, ability of this thing to accelerate. Also, losing momentum is a real problem. Uh, getting getting motorcycles stuck under your treads? Yeah, I don't know. I think I just kind of cursed myself there, but... Again, I feel like, you know, in terms of routing, the best thing that could be done for this game is figuring out ways to get rid of these drives. These drives just definitely introduce all sorts of wackiness. Alright, so there's our friend, uh, the helicopter. Oh wow, just, just murder me. Oh. There we go. Okay, perfect, perfect. So that's exactly what I wanted. This helicopter is kind of dangerous to reel into. Lots of times you'll just get, uh, you'll just take damage instead of actually being put in a stun position to hijack it. So what I did there was I intentionally disengaged my tether after initially tethering the helicopter and that caused the helicopter AI to freak out and dive. And then that gave me an opportunity to perform a stunt jump. So obviously we're gonna lose a bit of time here because of that sloppy driving. The, hel uh, the helicopter hijack went great, which is good news. All right, so here we have to make sure that we grab these weapons, the health, and the ammo. This is the police. That's really useful because we'll need that for River of Blood. Uh, this mission we don't need the weapons for, but super, super need them for River of Blood. Stop right there, city son! Thought I would drop on them. That was greedy. Alright, so here we're, we are going to get a helicopter. Uh, but that's just the drive to a destination. It's really unfortunate too, right? Because for like one time in the game, we get a, a static spawn helicopter with missiles. And you would say, oh man, you could probably use this for all sorts of things. Uh, you can't really. Um, Esperanza, who's the NPC that we're about to meet up with, her life is like linked. It is There's some kind of curse where if this truck that she's standing next to dies, she also dies. But I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. She made a deal with the Shadow Man, or like what, but... 
It's very strange. Oh. One million dollars in used notes. A small price to pay for a revolution. So we have to take the truck. Depends who's paying. Ha! Let's go. She has strong, strong My feelings apologies. for this truck. Here's the deal. We walk into the gorge, just the two of us. There will be two trucks. We give them the case, they give us the trucks. We drive the trucks away. End of story. So, vamonos. But yeah, this is just a short drive down this road. Don't even need a handbrake, no nothing. And then we'll be rewarded with a nice, unskippable oh, cutscene. So nice to do business with you, Esperanza. And we get to hear Steve Bloom make an awful May Spanish I accent. Count it if you wish. Please, Please don't at where me, Steve Bloom. Be without trust. You have the launchers? Sam Threes, still uh, in their wrappers. Way, po. I don't need Trunks. Supreme Court headlines. Get out of my life. Of course. Enjoy. If I needed horror stories, I would look up a horror story anthology. God damn it. I see him! Over there! So here there's going to be two trucks that we can get into. Uh, we're going to ignore one of these trucks. The right one has Esperanza and that starts a rail shooter sequence. We're just going to take this one. Because all we need to do is kill Sanchez. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna sort of like half pit this boy. I see him over there. Oh damn it! Sometimes if I get it right, the the green truck will actually yeah, kill him. <laughs> but there we had to come back around and run him over ourselves. So in River of Blood, we're going to do a boat ride to our target, which is three fuel tanks. Blow up the fuel tanks while in a parachuted state, uh, and then make our escape using a helicopter. There's your transport. Sick beats. Just making my Just Cause 1 mixtape drop some frames. So what we're going to do here is once we pass this copse of trees on our left, I'm going to slow down. Uh, and then once I slow down enough, I'm going to pop out. The reason I do this is just because it makes it easier to get all of these uh, fuel tanks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this boat forward. We're not actually gonna use this boat to go all the way back. We're gonna wait for a helicopter to spawn right here, and then we hijack it ourselves using our good old-fashioned stunt jump. Arguably, uh, if we were able, if if there were a strat where I could reliably prevent 
the fast boat from despawning. That might be faster, uh, but I was never able to get that working, so. Safe helicopter strats it is. I'm pretty sure I messed that up during my Stop BB. Right Alright, well, time for the best part of the run. It's time to destroy all the coca fields. Coca fields suck, folks. Don't do coca. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I, did I hurt your feeling? Well, maybe, you know... We gotta do crop dust here. So there's there is some random chance of a missile helicopter spawning in this mission. Right at the, the origin of the mission. And if we get it, it's really useful. But otherwise, we have to resort to using crop duster strats, which is my preferred uh, standard method for doing this mission. Uh, the previous runner Nord had been using a sprayer cart that is spawns on the ground. Uh, I found that to be really, really unreliable and finicky, so... I like the crop duster. It's safe, it's in the air, and <laughs> there is a... I think if I, like, really, really cared about optimizing this, if I was, like, a real good boy, I would be able to really, really knock it out of the park with this strat. Because you can, you can take out whole fields in one pass, but you I think it's a matter of lining yourself up correctly, uh, which is, you know, which is hard. I'm not going to pretend it's easy. One field down. See, there I, I, okay, so I got that one. Get to work. Got that one. See, that's good. That's if I can get, if I can get these at point consistently. All right, there we go. Wait, what? Am I, wait, I'm. What would I be jumping to? Oh crap! Come on, come on. Oh come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. I was afraid there I'd be jumping to the wrong vehicle. Anyway, once we get this boy, we can just use this to destroy the rest of the coca fields. Alright, only two fields left now. Alright, that's pretty good. Now get back to El Toro Loco. On the double. As you can see there, my, my gold split for this is really obscene. Again, that's because that's what happens when you get the fast helicopter, but the uh, crop duster strat's not too bad either, really.
Ooh, we're gonna be ahead. We're gonna be ahead. Ooh, ooh, green. It's not easy being green, folks. All right, well that's good news, cause really the minute and a half of time save that I need to go sub thirty, it's, it's all in like the final four missions. This is whatever whatever time save we get here is just uh, you know icing on the cake. I say as I immediately proceed to start losing time again. We'll see. Broadcast news is definitely one of those missions where it's more about things not going wrong than things going right. For example, this drive. I'm still unsure about not going up the road first there because it's definitely easy to get hit into one of those trees I'm t I've never found it to be worth the time to steal a helicopter here uh, because the helicopter just really isn't useful for the end of this mission I mean potentially if I were able to hijack it quickly there would be some time safe on the drive Hey guys, what's up? I'm rolling on the ground. It's good to hey, see Carl you, Lucas. old friend. Keep the army bastards away until I finish my speech to the people. Comrade, the studio is this way. Yeah, shots fired. Let's go. If you folks haven't looked at the stream title, I will be playing Just Cause Any Percent. Oh my god, Karamikus, what are you doing? <laughs> I will be playing this game, Just Cause 1, Any Percent Speedrun, for the Shots Fired 6 Marathon. Okay, uh, the marathon starts tomorrow the around 1 o'clock Eastern His on Shots Fired Marathon. That is the Twitch account. The, the, uh, my run will be Saturday night, the 14th, at 11.10 p.m. Eastern Time. Should be a lot of fun. I'm very excited to show off this one to the shots fired audience. Bad guys headed for the main entrance. So this sequence is a basically four four groups of enemies. Uh, divided into 30 second increments for 20 seconds enemies will continue to spawn as you kill them and then in the remaining 10 seconds no more enemies will spawn so like ideally what you want to do is just let the wave come as far forward as possible and only once you get to that 10 second portion of the 30 seconds do you really want to go ahead and murder them I was a little gung ho there, but I kind of wanted to save these boys. They're trying to back they're, door, they're pretty go. useful Hurry for up. aggroing the enemy. In peace, amigos. Right, using grenade strats there is a little useful just because it gives me. Now get under the I, I get to walk over here soon. This country is about to suffer one serious loss of salsa music and propaganda. 
Unfortunately, grenade arc is pretty static, so I can't... I have to make sure I throw it under the awning. Alright. Staying ahead, staying ahead. But the real challenge, of course, is can I get through Love is in the Air and I've got the power without the game crashing. Um, as I mentioned before, for marathon safety, I have made backup saves at these missions. So, in a marathon situation, I would just load the backup save. The run would be invalid, but, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you know, not a big deal. Invalid for leaderboard purposes, but obviously for showing off the game to a wonderful marathon audience, it's just fine. It's true, marathon lock. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. It's gonna be fine. I'm trying to think of what I what I've had go wrong during marathons, and I know during my when I did just cause three at Scrubathon five. I think there were definitely some weird things that happened. I think, I think when I did just cause three shots fired four, though, it wasn't really too bad, so. I don't know, we'll see. You need to get closer, man. Place some satellite beacons on these three sites. I uploaded the coordinates to your PDA. Now move! So I'm flying in real low here to avoid getting hit with a SAM missile. Please don't do that! I need that helicopter! The helicopter doesn't really take that much damage from the grenade though, so it's fine. So in this mission we have to plant three beacons at three different places in the space and they're all really inconvenient to get to from each other. It's a real hassle. Uh, I could, there's probably a better route. I'm pretty happy with this route currently, but uh, it's definitely fraught with peril for sure. You might wonder why not try and land the helicopter, uh, and the answer is because you're pretty much guaranteed to get hit by sand missiles at this point. They're really slow, but they will kill you. 100%. So this is probably the most stressful part of this strategy is that we need to not get brutally murdered by the vehicles driving around here. Uh, which include these heavy tanks, which are can easily just roll us on our backside. And then there's also, I think, a black armor jeep pursuing me. Um, which I think I can outrun, but this turn is going to be concerning. Oh god. Yeah. I might have taken too much damage. This, these jeeps really don't have much health, so there's a real risk any second now. Yeah, here we go. The most important thing, though, is for me to not to get run over. Um, whoop. All right. I was hoping I had enough speed to just get up to that higher area, but I'll take this. This is not... This is a time loss, but not the end of the world. I wish I could grapple up there. If this was just cause too. You could just grapple everywhere. This would be trivial. But it's not. So we'll probably go back into the red here. Unfortunately. Sad times. Oh, shout out, yo, shout out to the birds of paradise. Yo, shout outs to Dialogue. Uh -oh. One of the things I did discover was that 
if the dialogue stops working, and sometimes during this cutscene it just doesn't work, and that's fine. Um, but if you have other times in the run where dialogue stops working, uh, oh. see now, okay, it came back. Enough. Um, so if it really, really stops working, you do need to save and restart the game. But it seems like we still have it. It's just that that particular unskippable cutscene was borked. T minus 50 seconds until launch. But this is the real true test. Far and away, the mission on which the game is most likely to crash, always at a particular moment. Let's go. <laughs> so as always, what we're going to do is summon a fast boat. Fast boat is useful not only because it's fast, but also because it gives us lots of vertical height to hijack a helicopter. Oh, okay. I'm mashing E too much. Just trying to do the mission with ease. So as we get close to this uh, area on the coast here, we'll get a heat level. And then we'll slow down a little bit, wait for a helicopter to spawn, and then Stop we'll jump right to there. it. This is the policia! Stop right there! Uh, so one issue of note here, there are many, many SAM missiles coming in my direction. Uh, and even if I switch to a different helicopter, it would still be a problem. So what I'm going to do is abandon this helicopter and take care of my targets using a rocket launcher. And I used the same technique I used earlier on that helicopter in Sun Like It Hotter to hijack this one. Um, Alright, we're, we're good. We're good. <laughs> but it doesn't count unless you do a little dance. So the thing we need to blow up is like right there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the thing that we need to blow up is not something that we can lock onto. So we just have to des destroy things that we can lock onto until we're able to do what we need to. Well, that's good news, folks. This is a run. This is a run of a video game oh, called Just Cause 1 Any Percent. And we're going. Stop right there! So here we're going to get picked up by a helicopter and we have to wait for it. We can't grapple to it. Uh, we can't get in the driver's seat immediately. We just have to let it come to us and get in the passenger seat. And I should note that we have to get in the passenger seat even though we're going to be driving this thing in like two seconds. But just the way they set it up.
It doesn't drive itself, Rico. Grab the stick, Rico. It doesn't fly itself. Thanks. Yeah, so we have to destroy a train. Train's leaving. Hurry up before it gets away with it's all got that 25 rocket, rocket parts, three SAM sites, and one angry scientist in a gyrocopter. So it's pretty good when the helicopter spawns in front of us because we don't have to turn it all to destroy them. We can get back to destroying the train that much quicker. So what's going to happen here is uh, an end guy is going to spawn Kleiner, uh, and we have to destroy Kleiner, but he's like super beefy. Uh, two other helicopters are going to spawn that are going to attempt to stop us, and we need to take care of those first, and then take care of Kleiner. Ideally they spawn in front of me, but no, that's okay. Unfortunately, we got out of, out of range of blocking on, but a little bit of time loss. All right, here we go. We got him. That's actually really good. Oh, here you go. A glod. Best I ever done that mission. Let's go. Put me in, coach. And a big part of that was just how quickly I destroyed all the rocket parts. I was just really, you know, right on it, right on it. Didn't lose too much focus when I had to deal with pursuing helicopters. So here we're gonna Stop right kill there, a pilot. Oh, 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 is that boy? Okay. Heads up, a chopper is due to go to the fair soon, Rico. The pilot is headed there right Where'd now. Where'd that boy go? Go and take his place. Then you can hover over the fair unnoticed and in style. Mine, mine, mine. Good. Okay. So this is super useful. This is a this is a lucky helicopter. This uh, prevents us. So we're able to kill the pilot real quick, and then we're able to fly straight to the helicopter that we need to steal. Uh, takes out a whole drive. Takes out doing a vehicle hijack. Uh, it's pretty good. I'm a fan. Big fan. I would like it on Facebook. this happened once before and I was not prepared to deal with it but it happened now and I was like yes 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 like Jojo's So 
So here we need to touch down on this landing pad before our targets will spawn. Rico, the two bad boys from San Espirito will be on the podium in a few minutes. You need a clean shot at them from up close. Then get the hell out. Alto! Policia! Alright, and then we leave. So there is some risk here. I could get completely bamboozled by a jet fighter, but now it won't happen. We'll be fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen today. Halt, citizen! Halt, citizen! You really got to impress. Their, you got to you know, be impressed by their by their discipline. Uh, even in the face of an American agent stealing a helicopter, they're still willing to say a halt citizen, you know? That's the kind of courtesy you really expect from a modern police force. This is gonna be stupid gold, yeah. <laughs> Again, that's an aberration because I got a lucky helicopter. But, you know, we take those. We take those aberrations. <laughs> vehicle here. Let's do it. I believe. Okay, listen up. No. Black Hand MVs are headed for the bank to escort the money transport you want. Hurry up and jack that truck before they show. All right, I'll take this. Yeah, were you watching uh watching Mr. Aaron play Detective Pikachu? I caught some of that earlier. That game seems adorable. I respect it. Alright, so uh, I think one of the one day this week I managed to put my, my vehicle in the water and it was really embarrassing. Up to I'm not gonna do that during a marathon. I'm staying far away from that corner. Good god. Alright, well we stop. A little bit, yeah. It definitely has to feel like a weird, a weird game that would show up at the end of a console's lifespan. It's like this weird 3DS thing that just happened, but I respect it. So this is just a straight shot. Uh, the most important thing is to not flip this vein, which I have done. It hurts. That's pretty clean. Hey, that mission scares me. Uh, here we can't use extraction because we're underground. Actually, being in the city, you can't use extraction. You need to be in like a nature area, like on a beach or you know something like that. The game won't let you extract otherwise. Uh, but in this case, it actually is better for us to just go out and get a car. Uh, okay. Reek out. Reek out. Hey. 
Okay, please. Oh, uh, what? Well, there we go. Thank you. Come again. Policia! Stop! All right, so this is actually useful. I, I tested this in a previous run last week, and having a helicopter here is actually useful. Man, this is wild. Two lucky helicopters? I'm really looking forward to choking the end of this game. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's still plenty that can go wrong. But I mean, we're almost there. Sink the Buccaneer, my, my eternal Leave demon, the is to the gorillas. next. So. Immaculata is close by. I want you to meet up with her. Check your PDA for her position. Good to meet you again, my friend. Can you help us bust into the prison? Sure. We need all the help we can get. So one of the nice things about this is that we can just pretty much fly over top of the prison and then, and then descend. Yeah. <laughs> what is the matter, traitor? You wet your diaper, huh? Damn it. They got Esperanza locked up in there. You gotta free her, Rico, and fast. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I need a... Where's my gun? There we go. That big shit guy is in here somewhere. With this knife, I will cut off his balls. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, that's pretty lucky. I'll take that. Okay, that's good. I'm not gonna deal with those guys. Look! That bastard Carmona! He's escaping! Yo, nice. Nice! Nice! No oh, okay. Well, it's whatever. It's like a second early. If it was a Glod, I would re-roll it, but it wasn't a Glod, so we're just gonna run with it. Alright, I need to not murder anyone. Oh, come on! Oh, my God. Um. Okay. What? I'm not under attack. There we go. Okay. So a little time lost, but whatever. Didn't panic. Of course, you can't extract when you have heat, so that's the whole, whole thing that happened there was that I had heat on me. But that's okay. We got, we got time to save in this mission. Alright, so we got a third lucky helicopter. Something terrible, like the power is gonna go out. I would, if you're near me right now, like physically, I would probably get away because like a bomb's gonna fall on me any second. This is extremely cursed. Many monkey's paws are closing their fists right now.
Really? No one carry health packs nowadays? Come on. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, no helicopter is here, which is weird. I hear one coming. Um, is it gonna get here? Should I just take this helicopter and leave? Alright, this is probably extremely unadvisable. I'm gonna do it. Okay, this is... Yeah, no, this is super haunted. Uh, so this is interesting, right? Because usually I'm flying towards Mendoza's destroyer in a missile cop chopper. Um, but we are... Uh, we're here doing it in this chopper. My... My... Uh-oh. Okay, all right. Shit, Rico. Cutscenes playing, dialogue's playing. Is Everything is fine, later. folks. We're all fine here. How are you? Alto! Alto! This is the police! All right, so we're going to just get out of this. Remember, it's important to not be descending because there's a chance we will do a jump to vehicle oh, command when we sense. don't want that. We're going to use these missiles from a distance to open up the doors on these boxes Policia! stop Freeze, this is the police oh i'm going to die i'm going to die okay oh that helicopter is over me crap oh, this is real bad get that ship there no one's dropping health packs anymore okay oh, this is bad i'm i'm i shouldn't do this Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay. We're still alive. Fuego! Fuego! What's that? Cut them mosquitoes. Rico, I need you to regen health a little faster. Stomp on them. Hey, what's there? I need to Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Fuego! Oh no. Uh Okay. Oh, got it. Got it. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, jump to, don't jump the vehicle. Oh, my God. The heart. It's not actually. Please. Oh, God. Is that person shooting at me? Okay. We're fine. We're fine. So you might think that's an in-game sound, but it's actually the sound of my heart. I have a I have a microphone taped directly to my chest, and it's thumping like that. All right. Uh, yeah, we just gotta not screw up taking out the garbage part three or part one. Uh, I don't think you can screw up part two. Knock on wood. Yeah, no, well, there are some weird time saves that I got that are unusual. I really should have saved more time and sank the Buccaneer, Stop but because right of there, what Caesar. happened with the, um... Uh, because of what happened when with doing the fast travel before starting sink the Buccaneer, I lost some time. I really should have saved more time there, because uh, that was a pretty good sink the Buccaneer. Uh, the the actual mission part. Uh, we're not getting dialogue. That makes me a little concerned. It's okay. We we can just save and load a save. I don't know. It, it might it might the if we have sound glitch, it, we might have killed world record. Sadly. Whoa. Oh no, that vehicle's dead. Oh my god. Move up, man. Get that guy. I went to the wrong. All right. Uh. Well, there we go. Citizen. Uh, we still have some. We, we, this is not the end of the world yet. 
No? Are we not? Oh, we weren't close enough. Alright, uh... Yeah... Stop right there, citizen! Alright, I'm not- I'm just gonna get speed. There we go. Okay. We still can get a PB. We still can get a PB, folks. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Forget about it. 24. It's the highest number. Forget about it. Alto! Alto! Get the police! Uh, yes, my PB is world record. It's true. But I mean, it's a game that two people have run. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay. This is a problem. Alright, we're... Okay, er... I mean, World Record is World Record. I mean, it's better better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. So what happened there was, uh, normally if you get three missiles off at the, uh, the leader there, that's enough to take care of them, but... So I think for we'll now. hopefully get. Oh, the launch oh. <laughs> get to the beach. We have a nice little present for you. Yo, I hate it when I'm flying my jet fighter, and I just uh, <laughs> tip my back wheel <laughs> against the top of the silo. <laughs> this is a real problem, you know. Boy, is my face red. Free citizen. This is the police. All right, we are going to. Um, no. No! Oh my god, I was trying to wait for it to go to, to deploy a uh, uh, parachute. Um, I was, I, cause I, I had not broken off my descent enough, is what happened there. Uh, again, still possible to get a PB, cause taking out the garbage part three. Uh, Alright, now we have no pursuit, so I can just land. Alright, that's extremely cursed gold. Yeah, so unfortunate, lots of time lost there for a bunch of reasons. Uh, it took forever to hijack a helicopter, died once, uh, didn't kill the Black Hand Commander right away. Uh, you know. Struggle's real, folks. Can you not? Gotta warn you, Rico. Black hand on your tail. Seems they got lucky at the used jump jet dealership. We count five bandits and climbing. Man, I'm getting bamboozled here. They're all over me. Boy, Rico. Just one more and you win the cigar. Yeah, so the Black Hand is the group that you're fighting in Just Cause 4. Uh, the Black Hand is in both Just Cause 1 and 3. It's, they're a recurring gag that the, the dictator hires a secret, you know, advanced mercenary force or whatever. They're not really that tech, tech advanced in this game. They're kind of tech, technologi uh, yeah. technologically advanced in 3, though. Uh, when did he, uh, when did I kill a mother? No idea. I don't know. I probably did it at some point. Probably in, maybe in like a DLC in 3 or something. Oh no. We need positive eyeball, Rico. You're gonna have to get aboard that thing and finish him off. The only way you're gonna get inside that plane, Rico, is to jump aboard. So they're like right behind me shooting missiles at me, which is really uncomfortable. I'm gonna fly through the city, try and shake some of them. Free citizen! This is the police! Alto! 
Oh boy. It's time for my arch nemesis. Like, I really do wonder if there's a more consistent way of doing this as well. Yo, shoutouts to not getting shot? Usually by now I would have gotten rocked by a few missiles, but whatever. Oh boy, there we go. Oh no, no, no. Stop right there, CD son. No. Oh, okay, we're in there, we're in there, we're in there. Put me in, coach. I have like no health. Oh, there's still more. Where are they? Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Wow. That was a really good fight. That's maybe the best fight I've ever done. If I can get the quick, uh, the quick parachute kill, this could be sub-130. Uh oh. I imagine this is what it's like on Air Force One, right? Like, you try and talk to the president, and he's just, like, gesticulating wildly at you. And there's no nothing's actually being said. Oh, no, come on, come on. Come on. What? 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 Whoa, whoa, where'd he go? Oh my god. Give it to me. Here we go. Alright. Woo! Woo! Yo, we did it, fam. Let's go.